So we are in line six. Set a wicked man over him and let an accuser stand at his right hand. Now, he started off asking God not to keep silent. Um, and then he went and told God all, everything that they were doing to him. And now this is what he's asking God to do. Set a wicked man over him. All right, so they're spewing all these lies. They they being uh, hateful. Um, they're bearing false witness. Set a wicked man over him. See, ooh, because even though they're acting wicked, if an evil man is set over them, or, or, or a wicked man is set over them. There's always somebody big and badder than than uh, we are. There's always is somebody bigger, badder, meaner, uglier, and stinker than us. And so he's saying that there's a set a wicked man over him. He think he think he knows wicked. He think he's no he knows wicked, but he ain't seen no wicked yet. Wait until God puts a wicked person over him. And then he's going to come. He's going to humble down. He's going to get some sense knocked into him. So he says, set a wicked man over him and let an accuser stand at his right hand. So, oh, you're doing in return for my love. They are my accusers. So when somebody's accusing you now. How that's going to feel. And then they write, they, they're going to be right at their right hand. So, okay, you big and bad, you accusing, accusing everybody. Now somebody's at your right hand accusing you. Wicked person over you, accused right there at the right hand. So let's see what all this means. They give us some reference scriptures, Zechariah 3.1. Let's go there, 3.1. Everybody's getting a taste of this slandering. Uh, then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to oppose him. Satan right there. Right there. Joshua, the high priest, standing right before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing right there. The adversary. Right there. We don't get a we don't get by from nothing. And that's it. What's high guy one one? In the second year of King Darius, in the sixth month on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by Haggai, the prophet to Zerubbabel, the son of Shiltiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, saying, Okay, so that just to corroborate who uh Joshua the priest is or was at that time. All right, so all right, so let's go back to uh, Psalm 109, and then it also sends us to. Well, no, 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 that's just the only one. That's just showing us the accuser is Hebrew for uh, Satan. So set a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. Seven, when he is judged, let him be found guilty. So he wants to be the false witness. He wants everybody else to be guilty. All right, so when he's judged. Let him be guilty. So everything that's, that uh, somebody is dishing out to us is going to be dished back right back to, to, uh, to them. So that's why it's don't worry about trying to be self-defense. Don't try to defend yourself. Let God defend you. And when God defends you, you're defended. Because you don't want no part in it. When he is judged, let him be found guilty. And let his prayer become sin. So even the words that they try to utter to God, it's just going to be like sin. It's going to bounce right off the ceiling. It's not going anywhere. Uh, Proverbs 28, 9 is a reference scripture.
that says, One who turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer should be an abomination. So even his so if you don't want to hear anything good, you don't want to hear anything about the law or anything like that God has to say, then your prayer is going to be repulsive to God. It's 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 abomination is the sin that God hates the most. That's repulsiveness to God. And then so it says, Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Now, uh, that days be few, that sends us to Psalm 55, 23. That says, But you, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirst and deceit for men shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in you. And so we talked about that when we had covered uh, Psalm 55. So then it says, uh, And let his days be few. They won't live out half your days and let another take his office. Now, that right there is prophetic of who? Of Judas. Judas was a what? A betrayer. Mm, tip for tap. Tip for tap. So let's go ahead and pause here and then we'll pick it back up in the B part of eight.